thank you. Welcome back to the game show. I'm your host, Break Was Here. Now, I know spooky season's over, but that doesn't mean we still can't talk about American Horror Story, especially considering the last season was American Horror Story NYC, which came out not too long ago. Now, I didn't watch that season, but I do remember people saying it was about rats, the subway, and murder. And for a season about NYC, they're not really wrong. I mean, I should know. So on today's episode, we will be rating the best and worst seasons of American Horror Story. And without further ado, can I please get the answers on the board, please? Thank you. So starting off with the worst season, that is, of course, you guys were thinking it, I'm not the only one. <coughs> Cult! Wow, what a shocker. This season was the most boring one ever. The only thing somewhat memorable was a blue-haired Cheeto face masturbating in his shower, Evan Peters. Everything else was about that annoying lesbian couple, politics, and... That's it, that's all I got. All right, coming up at number nine is... <coughs> Double feature, wow, that's ironic because, um, well, I didn't even watch this season. That's just how shitty Colt was. So far, I have zero clue what the season's about. I just know it's about mermaids and aliens, I guess. Honestly, those promos are never right. All right, the next season is, it's, uh, oh, this is gonna piss people off. It's, uh, <laughs> it's Asylum! <coughs> All right, this season was pretty all right. Um, I have no idea what the alien storyline was all about. That was mad confusing. Honestly, my favorite part of the season was the music. Do you guys remember the songs in there? You know, the name game, Judy, 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 Baboody. All right, the next season is, oh gosh, it's gonna piss people off even more. <coughs> Roanoke. What the fuck? You think Roanoke is better than Asylum? Yes, yes, I do. Look, all right, it was a pretty interesting storyline. At first, it was like kind of like weird. All right, look, it was it was a little boring. I'm not gonna lie, the whole like mockumentary thing wasn't into it, okay? But like after, like after, like everyone was killed, like this person, the camera crew, the actors, whatever, whatever, boom, boom, boom. That was interesting. That's when it's that's when it started becoming like less boring. It was actually like pretty good. That's that was good shit. Next season on the list is Apocalypse. This season was so cool, like hands down, very nostalgic because it revisited two of the most iconic seasons of American Horror Story, both Murder House and Coven. Despite this season being really cool, I honestly think Ryan Murphy just created it to justify everything Tate Lina did. I mean, come on, like that, that motherfucker was crazy. He was, cra he was hot, but he was crazy. He was evil, you know? I don't believe that he was possessed by the devil and blah, da 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 like, no, all right? He was evil, he was crazy, he had a pretty face, and he got like really popular, so like, he wasn't a bad guy. Let, let, let's make his story all cutesy and innocent. Like, no, he was a bad guy. He was a bad guy. Whatever. Next up on the list is Hotel. <laughs> this season was really dope. Angela Bassett made a return. And it made a bunch of references to actual real-life serial killers. And by the way, I do not condone what they did. Please, I'm not one of those people from TikTok. And then I yet again had another crush on Evan Peters' character. Seriously, what the hell is wrong with me? Nothing, that's what. And you can't forget about other lovable characters like the queen herself. Liz. Also, am I the only one who predicted the ending? Or was it like supposed to be obvious? Like, I don't know. Like, like it was good, don't get me wrong, but you know. Typical. Next up on the list is 1984. The season was really cool. It basically paid homage to like all the like the old campy like 80s horror movies and shit. I loved it. Sleepaway Camp was one of my favorite like slaughter teen movies back in the old days. So like that was really cool and aesthetically pleasing to kind of see that vibe again. It was just a fun, chill, laid back season about young people getting murdered. Who doesn't love that? Delete that. Finally, we have reached the top three answers. Ooh, this is getting scary. Now remember, this is not a competition, so if this does piss you off, you're just making me smile more. Now number three, we got Freak Show. This season was so cool aesthetic-wise, like all the special effects and everything, so fucking cool. Everything about this season was just really cool. You know, the plot, the characters, the makeup, you know, I'm just like a sucker for anything circus or Freak Show related, so hands down, really good season. At number two, we got Murder House. This season is like... Not like, it is the beginning of American Horror Story, so it has a lot of lovable characters, a whole sense of nostalgia, everything like comes back to this season, so just like really brings everything together. I really love it. It was simple, but it was good, all the ghosts and stuff, I loved it. It was really great. I can't really explain it, but this season is just, it's good, like I just love it, okay? And the last one on the board, you know I was gonna put this one here, you know the season, Coven People! <laughs> 
this season was amazing and way better than murder house in my opinion like the outfits the the witchy aesthetic like everything just like boom like put together it was just really really good this show was already good as it is don't get me wrong but like coven came out and it was like yes like murder house was good cool asylum was like yeah but then like coven came out and it's like whoa you know and that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. And please tune in next week to show you the top 10 ways on how to get away with murder. See you in the next one.